Hey, we're here with John Schnapp, director of Death the Superman Lives. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm here with Holly Payne. She's uh, the producer of the Death Hi, Superman. Hi, nice to meet you. What's going on? Uh, we are here. Uh, I'm presenting tonight for the Geeky Awards. I'm presenting Best Comic Book. So I'm really excited. I'm wearing original comic book, Action Comics number one, representing not only the geeks, but also our film, The Death Superman Lives, What Happened. So it's a great time to be a nerd. Yeah, exactly. The movie, the documentary is freaking awesome. Thank you. We loved it. Uh, what, was, what was the most interesting part about what you found out during the documentary? Well, for myself, it was just how much actual work all these concept artists and Tim Burton and everyone, even Nicolas Cage, how much work and love they put into the project from the concept designs to just the, the costume and the creativity of the writers. That to me, so. Yeah, I would say that actually um, the fact that people's perception of, of Superman Lives before our film was so vastly different than when people see our film afterwards, they kind of go, wow, this would have been an incredible movie, and we kind of had a very similar, I mean, we never had any negative thoughts about Superman Lives, but once we actually saw the concept art and saw that it was the cream of the crop of the industry that was working on this film, it really turns you around because it's, you know, everybody says Nicolas Cage would have maybe been a bad Superman, but then you look at Heath Ledger, you look at Michael Keaton, you look at all these other people who would have turned those roles around, I think we would have had an incredible film on our hands. So. This is as close as we can get is our documentary, but uh, we're really happy to share it with the world. Yeah, me and John, we actually met at Comic-Con last year and with Movie Talk. Yeah. And you're still on that. That's freaking an awesome show. Thank you. Any, uh, any new things that we could see for, well, actually, let's do this better. Top five movies for the week, weekend, what are your choices? For this weekend, I'd say The Martian, and then Sicario, and then Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Um, what else? That's that's what we're going to be seeing this weekend. I'm just like listen off. And then um, you know whatever. The Walk is definitely another film I want to see. Uh, we're going to see we're going to see as many films as we possibly can this weekend. We're playing catch up because we've been out of town. We've been on tour, so we haven't been able to see anything. I just recently started binge watching like Netflix, so. We haven't even been out of the house since we got back from New York. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the last three episodes of Daredevil. Yeah, he still hasn't seen the rest of Daredevil. All the nerds are like, you haven't seen it yet, Schnapp. I'm like, yeah. relax. I'm on tour. So, well, I'm gonna have to write in for movie talk and get on you about the Daredevil thing. Yeah. But don't forget to check out Collider Movie Talk every day on YouTube and check out The Death of Super Lin Superman Lives, What Happened. Get it now. Awesome yeah. documentary. Oh, I want to plug one more thing and I'm gonna plug it for him. He also does an amazing show all about comics on Collider called Collider Heroes. So that's, uh, you know, for the deep, deep nerding sweaties, that's right an awesome show. And all you sweaties, don't forget to get our movie. You can get a digital copy or buy a Blu-ray by going to www.tdoslwh.com and support independent film. That's where the money's going to help us make another film. So There you go. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for tonight.